Hey there Transfix, this is Mark Chasso and you're watching my interview here exclusively on transfix.no. Peace out. Mark Chasovic is a guy from uh, Sweden, he's 25 years old, he's from Helsingborg and uh, uh, I live there with my girlfriend, it's a quite a quiet life I have back home actually. First contact with dance music was when I was about 14 or 13. I actually had a, a, a cousin who lives in Miami, and uh, he uh, he just sent me these deep house records from Miami, and I was really hooked on how the beats went. And yeah. Actually, it was because I was tired of the music which was being being made. I actually was starting out making Deep House records back in the days, which actually was released. No one knows about that, but thanks God. Uh, and then I actually switched, switched slowly to my Progressia name, which I released Stockholm Under and stuff like that. And I, I just made records because I was tired of the sound which was there. Girls? No. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I actually started DJ by a small disco back in my hometown because the local guy broke his knee and they called me, hey, can you play some records? And I didn't really know how to play actually and now I'm here so I guess uh, things went really good. The Mark Chasso sound is a mixture between everything which is out there. It's electro, it's trance, it's techno. It's, it's something that is very danceable, big room, but still trancy. Mr. White, why don't you get me cock? Don't you love me anymore? I will do anything. It's just a hoax. Uh, literally, me and my friend Thomas Sarkstad, which back then was roommates, made this really weird minimal track and I uh, needed some vocals to it. So we went online to this beacon text uh, generator and we wrote there, oh, Mr. White, why don't you give me cock in this safe vocal? And then uh, one year later, I just made it tune, Mr. White. And I was like, hey, this track misses something and put vocal on there and my, and my friends went, this is really big, this is awesome. So I know this is not cool and they were like, yeah, yeah, dude, this is awesome. They were like, no, are, are you guys serious? They're like, yeah, yeah. So from there it just went up. My dad is a musician, he plays guitar. But uh, we always have music around us because our parents really encourage us to actually do what we want to do. So yeah, I guess so. This year, yeah, absolutely. The name comes from an old record, it's a B-side from a Swedish artist called Petter, which doesn't make hip-hop, but the techno guy Petter, he had a release called the Tone Diary. It was an absolutely amazing record, it was a B-side, it was something between breaks and uh, ambience, and I was like, oh, this name and this record is great, let's use it. And Tone Diary this year we're gonna have tons of new stuff. We got some messy stuff from like Chris O'Neill. We got a Polish guy called uh, Paul Ekakosa. We got a Danish guy called uh, Martin Kiholm. And uh, yeah, we got so much stuff from actually more Nordic guys this year. So I'm really hopeful about the stuff. There's not many labels 
which uh, release music that I can actually play. It's, it's always too trancy or too housey. I want to combine trance and house, but really danceable. Because if you listen to records from 2008, it was all funky bass line with the house records. Now these days, you can see Chester playing house records and you can see Switch House Mafia playing trance records. So uh, the scene slowly changes towards where I, I really wanted to be. It goes hand in hand. Uh, without the internet, the dance scene would never been this global as it is now. You see guys from Venezuela and Egypt and Mongolia, you know, and connecting to these forums. However, it's killing the labels really much. So it, it's kind of uh, bad and good. There's no one who can probably make it true judgment of it, but I guess we DJs earn more as well these days, so it, I mean the we DJs, DJs don't lose that much money, but it's still, um, it's something which is sweet and sour, you know. Absolutely not, not a chance. I have a new album coming up. It's going to tons, tons of really nice collabs. It's a collab with uh, Paul Van Dijk, Kanye Wan, Liam Polier, and there's uh, a couple of solo singles. I'm going to release a solo single on Jesus label. Musical freedom as well. I guess this show so sound is gonna be a, a little more uh, commercial, but not cheesy, but just a little more uh, commercial minded. My last album, uh, or actually my first album, was a little bit more underground, techno beats, shuffle. This one is gonna be me more straight forward more electro and really really nice trance as well actually like I think this one which I'm making now is gonna be awesome.